What's up, DP? I'm Brett, and I've got some announcements on Beautify DP, the Katy Perry contest, and some advice for college-bound seniors. Yep, that's right. DP News starts now. The reason we're not having regular DP news today is because of some technical difficulties with our equipment. Really quickly, before we begin with your announcements, would everyone please pull out your phones and iPods? This is Miss Carrie approved. The Katy Perry Roar Contest is getting closer and closer, and we have not yet started a video because we have not gotten ideas from you guys. Right now, either send a text or email to Katy at dpnews.org. If you really want her back at our school, then you will do this. For anyone with a GPA of 3.5 or higher, you might be thinking about NHS, but in order to apply for the National Honor Society, you need to have at least two hours of community service. Beautify DP is your best bet at successfully completing those requirements. Beautify DP is a chance to get down and dirty cleaning our campus and have fun while doing it. You'll get to garden, pick up trash, and make your campus as nice as it can be. You can also use NHS as a chance to get some more community service towards graduation if you're not participating in NHS. I know you seniors must be stressed out with writing all your college applications, and I'll bet your parents are stressed too. If you'd like them to see some ways they could help support you and help you on this journey, the Goleta Public Library is hosting a program for senior parents tomorrow night from 7 to 8 p.m. That's right, a program to help senior parents know how to support their students through college apps and scholarships tomorrow night at 7. This Thursday is back to school night, so invite your parents, and we are now filming back to school night. If you want to do a shout out to your parents and try and embarrass them, come to T3 at lunch and record. Some of the clubs meeting today at lunch are the Asian Student Alliance in A6, Bike Club in M2, Unite the Light Club in T1A, Lakes of Love Club in H24, and Photography Club in T5. Alex Mackey is our on-site magazine sales representative, and he'll be giving us updates on the seniors progress for the next two weeks. Alex? So uh, Andy, there's a, a rumor going around that you've already sold a bunch of magazines. Is, is that true? Yeah, I sold about 12 of them um, to family members and people in the office that wanted to buy them. Do you have any tips to success for any other seniors out there trying to sell some magazines? Just ask most people. Everyone that I've asked so far has said yes. I've only had one person say no, they don't really want any. Um, that's about it. Would you uh, like to talk some smack to all those around you who think they can sell more magazines than you? Tyler Welch, step of your game. Thank you, Andy. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Alex. Keep up the great work, seniors. To all freshmen interested in seeking class office, freshman officer petitions will be available for pickup outside the activities office. They are due at the mandatory meeting taking place in P2 during lunch, Thursday the 19th. Any questions can be directed to Scott Gutentag any day during lunch in P2. There are no college visits today, but tomorrow, Arizona State University is coming to our library at 9 a.m. with Anthony Aguilar. And remember, the Charger account is a great source of news for around our school. The National Merit Scholars are incredible students at DP, and be sure to congratulate them on their feats. In case you forgot, we had seven of the eight National Merit Scholars in the district. SM had none, and SB had one. A quick shout out from Ariana Clay to Ekin Lamb. Great attempt at throwing the history books in the Greek, but not quite. Looks like that's all I've got for your campus news today, DP. Have a great day, and here's Linda with your sports news. Thanks, guys. Girls Volleyball had an away game on Friday and lost to Corona del Mar with a score of 2-1. Their next tournament is against Valencia today at home. Girls Tennis also had a match on Friday against Nordoff and won 15-3, and on Saturday against Santa Maria. In singles, the girls won 25-29 sets, led by Katie Yang. 
And on the double side, we won 24 to 27 sets, led by Megan Eckert and Casey Egger, taking the victory with a total of 49 out of 56 sets. The girls play Santa Barbara at home today after school. On Saturday, boys water polo lost against Cathedral Catholic with a total of 12 to 10. Blake Parrish scored four goals, and Jay Griffin made three against Cathedral Catholic, and goalie Emil Hubner made nine saves. On the second game of the doubleheader, the boys lost to the Bishops 13 to 10. Parrish made five goals, and Quinn Peacock and Scott and Scott Mayhem added two apiece. And today is the first league tournament for the girls golf against Santa Barbara. That's all for your news, DP. I'm Linda, signing off.